Okay, so turn your head this way, we'll do exactly the same. Bend forward, lifting you on. Okay, coming down with the compression now. All right, Breast then. cancer is the most common cancer in the UK. According to Breast Cancer Now, over 55,000 women are diagnosed each year, and Suzanne Price from Salford was one of them. In 2005, she discovered a lump in her breast. When I was in bed at night, I started to get pain in, in my breast. Um, this happened over a good few weeks, and then I decided, uh, when I was in the bath, I decided to, have, um, to check my breasts, and I found a lump, so um, I went off to the doctors. Shortly after, she was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer and had to undergo eight months of chemotherapy. Now 12 years in remission, the disease may have disappeared. However, the traumatic side effects of a chemotherapy are still fresh in her mind. The side effects are obviously hair loss, loss of nails, fingernails, um, toenails, um, thrush, mouth everywhere, um, loss of taste, numbness in your face, numbness in your fingers and your toes, um, quite quite a lot of symptoms. So what research is being undertaken to help improve the future treatment of breast cancer? That's where a team at the Wellcome Sanger Institute in Cambridge comes in to help. Currently, drugs like chemotherapy cause damage throughout the body as it doesn't directly target cancer cells. Therefore, researchers are trying to improve the future of personalised cancer medicine. Researcher Dr Fiona Bean explained why she wanted to take part in the study. So my personal motivation is to develop better cancer treatments that are more targeted just for the tumour, just for the cancer, and leave normal cells completely undamaged. And the mantra we're starting to have here is you beat the disease, not the patient. One study focuses on how different types of cancer cells respond to a combination of drugs. The aim is to use the results of the study to predict which treatment would work best for each individual patient. If we can understand why certain cancers respond to different combinations, it will hopefully mean that in five or ten years' time, when a woman comes into the clinic with breast cancer, um, we can tailor the treatment to her more specifically. So that might mean using chemotherapy less frequently. It might mean using a specific cocktail of drugs unique to that woman. Um, and hopefully it will help to improve patient outcomes and the patient experience. With the aim to move away from chemotherapy to more specific drug combinations, Suzanne explained how important it is to push for new treatments. There's always new treatments out there. There's always, there's, there's got to be more. There's so much research going on for breast cancer that you just have to ha have to have new treatments. There's so much, the survival rate for breast cancer is, is going up and up and up, and that can only be good news. Rapid improvements are being made for breast cancer, but this isn't the only cancer to affect women, as the next report in the series will focus on cervical cancer.